Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 42 for multi vendor e commerce website in Django with React.js. In this video, we will mainly apply two things on our customer registration panel. Uh, we have created the customer registration panel in the last video. Now we need to apply two things. The first one is uh, uh, mobile number unique. Okay. And uh, because we are using the authentication system of Django. So it will also check the username unique, right? The second thing we will apply that is our context API, right? So context API is if we go to uh, React documentation, then it will say context API provides a, provides a way to pass data through component tree without having to pass props down manually at every level. So with the help of context API, you don't need to pass the data from uh, from parent to child then child then child if you uh, wrap the uh, parent into a context then it will pass the context data to all the child right so all the children so this is a very beneficial thing so we will use authentication that user is logged in or not we will use with the this context api so we will apply two things so let's start with the backend. So first of all, we will use username, the mobile number unique. So here I have applied unique equal to true. Then you need to make migration. And then uh, you can just migrate that, right? So it will um, apply the uniqueness, unique index to the table, right? The second thing, <coughs> the second thing here, first of all we will add uh, first of all we need to add one more thing here from django db we will import the integrity error okay so integrity error so it means if any kind of duplication or anything then this error will raise and we will catch this error right so let's go to this is our try catch block so i will use try right and uh, Add here and then we will exception accept integrity error and if this is if this comes it means username is already exist because we are applying this on user saving right so we will say username already exist right and the same thing we will apply on the create customer so we'll say try and uh, this will go here and accept integrity error right and we will say mobile already exists <coughs> right now let's uh, go to the admin let's say this one admin users and uh, we have users let's go to customer so we have customer and uh, we are showing the mobile also uh, i have modified this uh, admin list so if you go to the where is this admin.py i have created a class customer admin and uh, i am defining the get username and i'm passing uh, returning the username right uh, username and mobile number right before it was showing only the username <coughs> but now it is all also showing the mobile number right so <coughs> this is one thing that i have done okay so where we are okay so integrity error right so now we also need to show the message when we are registering so let's go to uh, register.js so error message success message okay so where we are success message error message so error message set response data so let's go to error message and here we are showing error message right and let's show the success message here text success 
ओके एरर मैसेज विल शो इफ बुलियन इज फॉल्स राइट एंड सक्सेस विल बिकम एम टी एंड इफ बुलियन इज ट्रू देन दिस विल बिकम एम टी एंड सक्सेस विल एरर विल बिकम एम टी एंड सक्सेस विल शो राइट सो इन द केस ऑफ कंडीशन ट्रू वी आर सेंडिंग थैंक यू फॉर योर रजिस्ट्रेशन यू कैन लॉग इन नाउ राइट सो नाउ लेट्स ट्राई विद द एग्जिस्टिंग यूजर नेम एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ट्राई विद द एग्जिस्टिंग मोबाइल नंबर एंड देन यूजर नेम एक्चुअली दिस इज ओके गुड यूजर्स वी हैव लॉट ऑफ यूजर्स आई थिंक दिस इज नॉट कस्टमर ओके अंडरस्टैंड so let's try with let's try here so first of all alex lee username will be customer1 and uh, email let's say this one <coughs> let's go to customer let's say mobile number is this right and password is something so username already exist so it means this username is already exist so let's say 2 right so mobile already exist right so it means our both conditions are working so what i will say double zero submit username already exist so let's say oh customer username is already exist so let's say 3 thank you for your registration you can log in now okay so now this is good so everything is registering we have defined the uniqueness we are showing the error also right now <coughs> if it's register then uh, let's go to login and uh, here we have users customer 3 right and uh, when we are log in then what we are saving in the uh, local storage username no uh, username let's store the user id also customer id mm -hmm. user name what we are returning <coughs> user user name okay let's return the user id or because user name is unique so we can i think we can work with the user name also no need for id okay so let's log in invalid user name password okay let's change this password change password applied okay logged in and it's redirecting to customer dashboard but currently it is showing these things so when user logged in then we don't need to show the register and login which we will just show dashboard logout and on the other way we will just show lo register login if uh, user is not logged in <coughs> okay so let's work with the context api first of all let's uh, go to front end let's source and <coughs> sorry components and uh, source let's create context.js right open this and import create create context right and then we will export constant <coughs> user context equal to create context and we will pass nothing right 
and then we will import this in our index.js right so let's import user context from context right and uh, we will wrap this app right and then with the help of provide method we will pass value let's say one <coughs> this is just for example okay now the app is under the user context right okay so what we will do now let's go to header okay and then import this context from well, sorry import user context from context okay and we will also we also need import use context from react react right <clears throat> now constant user context equal to use context we will use the user context now if i console dot log then it will show let's see what it will show okay where it is saying in the app no in the index Uh, where is this context export constant okay yeah this is fine let's see here <coughs> oh i will restart the server module not <coughs> use is not defined where is that in the header Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. App or yes, where is that? Okay, okay. So now, if I go here, so you can see here the one is showing because uh, now if you access any uh, you can use one in any of the uh, component because we wrap this uh, context uh, with the uh, our our main app okay so it means that this data is passing to all the children right now what we will do now we will check here <coughs> we will check here check local storage go to index 
so what i will do if check customer equal equal to true then we will say <coughs> user logged in equal to true else else false actually let's pass this right <clears throat> so it's saying true so if true right so what we have let's say user yeah that that was fine so we will say this thing and then we will return this what it is okay we need to wrap this all right so click here uh, user context right so also we need this line here so i hope you understand all the things actually we have reversed this thing user context equal to true then we will <coughs> what it is right and uh, if not true then we will show this thing register login Okay, and uh, what we need this one. actually we don't need this <coughs> okay so user is logged in so that it is showing the it is showing dashboard and logout right so if you click on the dashboard it will go to the dashboard if you click on the logout it will go to logout and logout functionality we have already implemented now one more thing uh in the login okay so we have applied here right now <coughs> so as i told you that we will work on the unique and uh, customer panel so there are a lot of uh, things uh, small small things that we need to implement we will implement on our way but the main thing is uh, now we have uh, successfully logged in and registering our customer so now customer can uh, add to cart the product so in the next video we will work on add to cart and try to also complete the wish list as soon as possible and complete the uh, till the shopping uh, we will try to complete the shopping process right so when our shopping process will complete then we will work on the filters we will apply the filters here and uh, we will work on the customer dashboard and then we will come to the vendor dashboard okay so thank you so much for watching the video please share subscribe like this channel and uh, you can check out the projectsplaza.com where i'm uploading all the projects so you can buy that will also be support for me and please join the membership so i can uh, uh, it will my uh, <coughs> effort to reply as soon as possible to you and uh, thank you so much for appreciating my videos and uh, thank you okay so let's meet in the next video and uh, try to share subscribe like this channel thank you so much